So, you want to learn how to make pumpkin pie? Why'd you click on this video? Hey guys, and welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to uh, create this random color effect on any texture in Blender. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to say here is this is super simple to set up, but the only thing we need to do is I highly recommend whatever image you're using. Um, I, I recommend to make it grayscale. So in an image editor, whatever you're using, I recommend just going ahead and making that thing uh, 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 black and white. And I'll show you why in a second here. Because if you take a look at our actual leaves, you can see there's a little bit of green peeking through the blue color, or a little bit of green peeking through the orangish, like red, fall, amber, and a little bit with the yellow as well. So if we were to go ahead and um, uh, turn the image grayscale, and then go ahead and open that image up, and then maybe uh, reload it, which we do like this, and then go boom. You can see that now with the grayscale texture on there, you can see that now we have actual true red, blue, green, yellow, and then this was a just black texture, by the way. So that's why it looks like that. So it, it gives a lot more authentic of a color. So make sure your, your texture is grayscale, if that is possible with whatever you're doing. Um, it, it definitely makes the colors shine more. So now that that's done, let's go ahead. And I want to show um, off this thing because, God, I love this this material. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first initial thing that we have, when you have an image texture, you usually just have the image texture and then the principal BSDF. Obviously, the color is usually plugged up into the color. And then you usually get something like this, which is just the color, the, the actual texture that we have that we just made grayscale. But with this, I needed to figure out how to multiply a random color with an image texture that has transparency. And this is how I did it. So shout out to the guy that uh, said he needed this in a, in a comment. I'm, I'll probably put the comment in the, in the video here, but shout out to you because that's why I figured out how to do this. And 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 I sat for a while trying to figure out how to get this done. By the way, but let's go ahead and if we shift A and we'll search, we'll search for an object uh, info node right there, right there, and then we can plug the random into a color ramp, which is again shift A, search for color ramp. And now what we did here is basically I just change this from linear to constant and then just added a bunch of random colors so whatever i wanted my colors to be you know we can have a blue we can have a a, a, a red you want to go with more soft colors here unless you want like super vibrant like neon colors so i went with like a little bit of a softer tone for most of these you know uh something like this you know nice blue and then we did let's just do one more and we'll spread these out a little bit uh, I don't, it doesn't really matter how they're spread out i don't believe but uh, i just i just do that just because you know and then we have like, like, a, like a nice pink there we go so i just did that added some some random colors then i hit shift a and i searched for a mix this is the important part a mix color node it cannot be a regular mix it has to be a mix color node and i plugged the color of the color ramp into the a and i plugged the color from the image texture uh, check, 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 the image texture into the B, um, and then I plugged this mix into the color of the principal BSDF. So now that we have all that done. You can see this is literally what we get, and it's the coolest, simplest, easiest thing to do. But it did take a little bit of you know brain power from me. So that is uh, that's what you get. And when we duplicate this, so if I grab this this uh, this leaf here and duplicate it, hit Shift D, you can see that it creates a random color every single time you duplicate it so let's go ahead and change this black and real quick so we can get more variation of color let's make like a nice uh maybe like a pink maybe we'll make this yellow like a, a bit different of a yellow maybe like orangish there we go we'll change the green we'll make like a a, a a more bluish green look at that dude how cool is that and now again the more colors you have the more uh the more you know the variation you'll obviously be getting so uh, so yeah, I hope you uh, I hope you ladies and gentlemen learned something new today, man. Listen, this is one of the cooler shaders that I've decided to do on the channel. I think it's super cool. You do get some repeats there. I don't believe there's a way to make it so that the um, there, there's more of a, more or less of a probability. I don't think where these are positioned. Oh wait, they are. Oh wait. Okay, wait. Look at this. So if you want more reds, you just make it bigger. If you want, okay, it is. I'm an idiot. Okay. So if you have this set certain colors do affect the uh the probability so that's cool so if i were to change this to linear you get more of a gradient -ish color you get like you know ones in between which would give you even more variation so if you really want to be as natural as possible here i'd go with this and you just have like some super cool ones obviously you wouldn't have random pinks and stuff so let's say you wanted to have like fall like a fall tree 
you'd have like probably a bunch of oranges and yellows and browns and stuff so you'd probably have something that looks a little closer to uh this and that is the coolest thing i've ever seen in my life so if you're making a fall tree ladies and gentlemen this is how i would get it done here you don't want you probably don't want constant because it'll just be solid which i mean that might be good if you're going for more stylized look maybe like an anime look but if you want a more natural easy look then definitely put that on ease maybe linear you could do b spline as well b spline super soft cardinal maybe as well but B spine's low key the the softest one, so I'd probably go with something like this and then just play around with these colors. And that's literally how you do it. So that is the coolest thing in the world. I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. And you can even still affect the uh, the roughness of these, so you can still play around with the shine of them. You know, you can still make them super shiny or super dull because you have all of this power of the principal BSDF still in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye bye.